I am headed into the studio to get some work done. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of campus, talk a little bit about my work, and show you some of the art that I've been making lately. So let's go. We made it to campus. Welcome to my studio. This is where I spend most of my time Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends, depending on what my schedule is like. Here's sort of my utility shelf. I got snacks. Here we have materials for my works on paper um, and also some collage items that I've created that have yet to find their home. In a final painting, collage is a new artistic medium that I've been exploring. I really like how it introduces so many different moods and conversations. Here's just some more like miscellaneous tools, my canvas scraps, this bucket of gesso. Here's my workspace. This is what things look like on any given day. My work explores themes of identity, um, particularly identity within the black community, black women especially. Uh, I think it's important to highlight us and the diversity of our everyday lives through this medium of oil paint, which historically is something that has never allowed space for black people or people of color. I find there's a lot of beauty in the moments where I can uplift my community and people I know and people who look like me. This painting is a piece I did of my friend Isaac. It was actually the first painting that I have ever done from life. I typically work from photographs and sort of collage them together either physically or in Photoshop or I just sort of ad lib as I paint and that was a really great experience to paint someone from life. Um, I think it captures a different kind of spirit. I really like painting fast and loose. I think that captures the character, um, the essence of what it is that I'm painting. My favorite art, and personally the art that I create, I feel is the strongest when it conveys a sense of the inner life of the subject, whatever that is. My color choices and my forms are grounded in reality, but I, once I start working, I often find myself taking these creative risks or seizing a moment of play, I notice you know, the color of a shadow has a, a slight cast to it, and accentuating that. This Alice Neal book is really inspiring to me. I love how she captures the humanity of people and is so loose and liberal in her interpretation of the figure. She's so democratic about the people that she paints. This Matisse book. I've mentioned before, Matisse is a big inspiration. His depiction of everyday life is so elevated. You know, the content of his paintings is relatively mundane, but he shares these things with us in a way through his visual style that is so endlessly captivating. Working on this piece. This is an oil on paper. And she might look familiar to you because she started out as a sketch. I typically do not plan my paintings. I like to work from whatever headspace I'm in that day. This is my friend and classmate, Fidelis. He sat for a painting a couple weeks ago. I'm still working through this one. 
Cranbrook colleague, Akia. She's in a different department, she's in photo, but uh, she sat for this piece a few weeks ago as well, and I'm still working through it. <laughs> love to experiment on the canvas with different textures, with different colors. You'll see a lot of my work is very colorful and a lot of the paintings may use different colors and, and, and hues and tones that are not natural to the subject. When I paint and draw, I typically will create these exaggerated forms. And I, I try to lean into that as much as possible because it's become my style. Outside of the studio, I find that I still really enjoy those moments at home where I can make work. This is a self-portrait that I did. I did a fun little exercise. Um, I actually drew this by candlelight. That forced me to think about tones in a different way. Here's another piece. I'm not quite finished with this one. There's a few more details that I want to add, but this memorializes a wonderful dinner that I had with some friends recently. 